YouTube. So it's been a while. Good morning. We are. We've just arrived in Athens. Yes, last night, and mm -hmm. um, we're at Hadrian's Arts right now. Yeah, we're on. Very cool behind us. We're on a um, ancient history trip. So we're going to go to Egypt, Petra, uh, Rome for the Colosseum. Yeah. And first stop is Athens to see like the um, all the ancient temples of the gods and stuff like that. So yeah. Hadrian's Arch. Hadrian's Arch. Yeah, built in the 100s, like Jesus times, by the Romans. And uh, yeah, it's all made out of marble. And look at the size. These blocks are huge. Some of them are big. They would have had to use like sticks and wood and stuff to move them around. Pretty impressive, I think. Uh, yeah, the best crane that the Romans had could lift about six tons. So I don't know how much these blocks weigh, but they must be kind of hitting that limit, I imagine. It says it was built originally as a church, and then it was a doorway. So when Hadrian came along after, and then started building his own city, he separated the old city of Athens and then the new city. Yeah, keep the riffraff out. And yeah, he's even got signs on one side it says this is the ancient city of Athens and on the other this is Hadrian's, not Athens. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he built on top afterwards. Don't know. Do you see the inscription at the top there? That'd make a well good fort. Bet you it was a fort. Oh, that's the Acropolis, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the, the Temple of Zeus. With all those pillars. Yeah. And that's what it did look like. But then the black is what's left. So not much. Not at even all. ten percent. <laughs> of them. Maybe they just use mega old blocks. But why, like, they change the layout of it? But yeah, anyway, this area here is like the ancient gate that came into it, which I'm guessing the ground was lower down back then. <laughs> Temple of Zeus and behind here are the columns of the Temple of Zeus and there's like three rows of them and they did go like all the way all the way along there and around. This is just like one tiny corner that's left but this was like all over the place and this thing is uh, huge and I bet you they must have used like multiple cranes to lift up the blocks. I think is how they did yeah, it. Yeah, probably. That's what I reckon. It got quarried later, which is why there's barely anything mm. left. But um, yeah, there Damn used to vandals. be like statues all along the front, and it was uh, three columns wide all the way around. Looks very cool. It must have been pretty impressive, I think, when it was. See the detail at the top. When it was like fully set up. Yeah. Because the amount of statues, there's, stat there's like bases for statues 
all over the place, like surrounding the, the perimeter. Yeah, it must have been pretty grand. Yeah. If I was Zeus, I would have been happy. Found some of the leftover statues and stands. And then it's like box walls and then bricks to fill it. But so what you're saying is they cheated a little bit. Yeah, it looks good on the top. outside. Oh, bet you Zeus wasn't happy with that. Are you going to just stand there and stare at the camera? Yes, until you go, action! Action! <laughs> uh, this pillar here, there was a storm in the 1800s and it just blew over. And uh, it's just been lying there ever since. You can see it's just all of it. Each section split up. You can see the different sections, which are kind of cool. Look how big the base is. Look how fun that is. See that? So you've seen how big one pillar is. And uh, now imagine 100 of those. Like this whole area was surrounded by uh, rows and rows of pillars. Uh, 100 pillars in total. Isn't that absolutely insane? So here is a section of the pillar, just like part of it. You can see how huge it is, and it's just like that's one solid piece of marble. So, yeah. Look how that's cut. That's pretty good, isn't it? Well done. Very precise. You know a lot, do you, Dan? Mm -hmm. What do you know about Roman bathhouses? Well, what you're seeing here is obviously the ruins of the bathhouses. And Never. We're not seeing the floor. All this here is like underneath the floor. And okay. there would be fire somewhere else that would heat up the water and steam would go along underneath the floor and they would basically have underfloor heating. Okay. So these are like the steam channels that we're seeing. I know that much. Interesting. Mm. Learned that from school. So what I was saying is how, you know, I got confused where there was that part of yeah. the gate that was like outside the boundary. Yeah. Well, the wall is like the original uh, enclosure of Zeus's temple. Yeah. And then um, that gate entranceway that was slightly buried we were looking at, that came like 300 years after, after like the temple was right. like rubbish. Then uh, from Hadrian's gate, there was like a road that came through. I that. see. So that stuff came later. So yeah, the wall is like the original stuff. Right. So you got the, yeah. the wall that we've been walking around, the perimeter. That's yeah. like part of the the actual enclosure. The original. Temple. Okay. Then, 300 or well, 450 years later, when all this was messed up, then a, they came in and they built this gate system here. Okay. So I imagine all because this, there was a road. Yeah, that and went I imagine this wall wouldn't have been 
wouldn't have been there. It would have oh, been okay. dismantled. Or maybe they used it to build part of this. And then that's Hadrian's Gate. So a road came through from Hadrian's Gate through the new gate that okay. they built. Okay. Got it? Gotcha. So different time frames. Yeah. 